Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome once again to the Friday Funnies. You know, in many locations, this is the last weekend before school starts. And back to school time can be quite traumatic if you have a five-year-old off to his or her first day of kindergarten. They're going to cry. You're going to cry. The teachers who realize that vacation is over, they're going to cry. But in a mere 13 years, the back to school experience will be much different. When your child heads back to college after a summer off at home, there will be no tears. Those will come later when the tuition bill is due, but when your kid heads back to college, there's going to be relief and quiet and more food in the refrigerator for you. And for them, there'll be parties and beer, so it's a win-win. You see, as adults, we don't get to experience the thrill of back to school. At the end of our vacations, we get to go back to work where beer and parties are frowned upon. I tried to cheer myself up by buying a brand new backpack, you know, and it seems to be working as I wear it every day after I fill it up with beer. So while I enjoy a cold one, you enjoy this week's Friday Funnies. You know, in the last two weeks, I've talked about uh, mustard-flavored ice cream and uh, ice cream bars with chunks of hot dogs in them. And I'm thinking that as tasty as these treats sound, what do you wash it down with? Well, this week I got my answer. At the Iowa State Fair, a local brewer is selling corn dog ale. That's right, it, it's made with hot dog buns and, and cornbread. Sounds like something I'd really like to avoid. But what I want to know is why all of these forced food combinations all of a sudden? Why can't we let each food stand on its own merit? And if we don't, pretty soon we're going to be looking at things like bologna flake cereal and lamb chop Kool-Aid. Stop the insanity. You know, forcing foods together is a bad idea, but forcing humans and animals together is a travesty. The Japanese government this week gave the okay to the University of Tokyo to test combining human and animal genes to create a hybrid. We're talking about a real-life pigman here. The university claims that the cells are going to be used in order to harvest vital organs in the future. This means you could wind up with a new kidney that's part human, part animal. It'll work, but you'll have the desire to go and pee outside. One of the reasons I think that the Japanese are venturing into this new effort is that they need somebody to fight Godzilla when he makes a return. A company in the UK has developed a product that unbelievably nobody has thought of before. We Are Feel is a vitamin company that sells supplements by subscription. And this week they introduced their latest product. For a limited time, they are offering a multivitamin that contains 18 vitamins and minerals along with glitter. Yeah, that's right, glitter. Edible glitter is packed into each capsule. The glitter passes through your system and winds up in your poop. So you can pass glitter turds and fill your bowl with sparkles. I have only one question for people who are prone to buy this product. Who are you trying to impress? Are you going to call your friends over to scope your scat? Will you get plastic bags out, put a little each on, and give out stool samples? Will you, God forbid, post it on Facebook? Please just say no to overly festive feces. That's it, my friends. I've gotten a lot off my chest this week, and I hope you'll pass it on to your friends and neighbors. Uh, also, thanks for uh, watching the Friday Funnies. Listen to my podcast, Another Day Above Ground, and I'll see you back here next Friday. <laughs>